an idiot can, can train horses, you know, because anybody can tell this one is running quicker than that one. The real difficult thing is to keep the horses in one piece physically, but nearly more importantly, mentally. Welcome at Cumulans, I'm David Menuisier and I'll speak to you about uh, resource data. Okay everybody, okay, okay. I think, um, yeah, I, th I think it will be interesting in the long run. Uh, in the short run, we don't, we need to analyze data and what have you. I don't think we have, um, I don't think the database is, is, is big enough to draw conclusions. At the moment, it's, it's more detection of problems like abnormal heart rate going on to a gallop. We've seen peaks of heart rates way before getting onto the gallop, so it's a bad anticipation actually of, of countering. If you, if you don't know that, or if you ignore that, then down the line you can end up with a horse that is losing its heart, you know, because they just don't want to do it anymore and whatever. So if you see the early signs of anxiety, um, you can actually adapt your routine. This is a, um, a short run benefit of uh, Ario Neo. So we're going to press this button to, to activate it. I only just wet this pad and, and this pad just here. To help with the, the connection with the device to the, to the horse. Scan the microchip to connect this device to the horse so we know, so, that, so when you, you sync the data over, um, we know that this device has been on this horse basically. There, like that. Sits nicely there. It needs to be obviously be in, in the right place uh, as the horse's heart is here. On the app, you can get a live reading. So if we were in the car and we were driving alongside it, it's just about to do some exercise, you can see or see what its actual live heart rate is. We're looking at its heart rate during exercise and you know max heart rate and then and then how that heart rate then drops for recovery, which is obviously a good in indicator for how fit a horse is. I would say it's probably gonna be anywhere between 30 and 45, I would say. If he's gonna gallop like he is this morning, probably gonna get up to something like 220. His fast recovery, 10 minutes later when he's walking home, say he'd probably drop to 100, 115. And then maybe by the time he's got back into his box, you'd like to see it probably 80 or 90, maybe 100. I'm probably quite an old fashioned trainer. I work on intuition, you know, and things that you see and feel, and that's pretty much still the same, but we just add on a little bit of science into it. If we actually can improve one horse out of the whole season because of this, then, then it would have been worth it. And, and obviously anything that can help to keep the horses healthy physically and mentally is important and I think uh, Ario Neo is, um, uh, can only be a, a, a plus. It's an extra tool. Um, I think what's important is, is to use everything, not just one thing. And the human athlete will probably, or the human coach will probably check data and what have you. But he will also have that intuition about because otherwise there's no point in him even being on the pitch. It can explain uh, sometimes uh, a poor performance. We got a new uh, a new rider who started in uh, in uh, March, April maybe. Because of that system, I could tell you that he used to go far too fast to gather momentum, and so his horses would kind of not do their best here, where where it matters. We just sat down, look at the data, and said, look, you need to slow down there, and ta -da -da. within a week, he was in the right rhythm. At least you can actually put data and put, put science into what was wrong and correct it very quickly. You'll do a lot of recordings. Most of them, or the best part of them, or most of them, will be unremarkable. What you see is a natural progression. It just confirms what your eyes see. But sometimes you see an odd one that you, 
yeah, that she wasn't expecting. Mm -hmm.